<laughs> Welcome to my channel. I am Leah and this is my husband Jaweed. Hello. <laughs> We really wanted to share with you guys our Nika ceremony, so I think that we're going to play the clip first. Play the clip first so you can kind of see what's going on. Yeah, because I feel like you're just going to like fast forward to the clip just to see how the Nika was. So we'll play the clip first and then afterwards we'll kind of have like a little discussion session about how it came about and how we uh, did the ceremony in, in a multicultural uh, wedding. Fashion. Fashion. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll talk to you guys after. But first, roll the clip. So that was our Nika. Hope you liked it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. So we hope you enjoyed that Nika ceremony. You know, we're sharing, you know, our lives with you guys. We're up close and personal 
you know, this is our family and our close friends, so glad to share that with you guys. A little background history of Dweed and I. I am born and raised in Canada. My dad's French Canadian and my mom is Scottish. And then Dweed. I'm from Afghanistan, Kabul. And uh, been here since I was probably four or five years old. Do you remember anything from being no. in Afghanistan? No, it almost feels like a dream. Because you were only like four years young. old, right? I was too young when I came here, yeah. So you were really born in Kabul, but raised in Canada. You're right. I'm a Canadian. Yeah. Can you, what do they call those people? Whitewashed. I'm whitewashed. <laughs> I don't know if you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> so we met back at uh, our first internship right out of school. And I was in the analytics and he was in... I was in the animation department. <laughs> But we'll talk more about that like in the wedding video because we're gonna also have it, like a wedding video. This is the thing. We had a Nika and it was a ceremony and you know friends and family were there and everything, but we actually like signed the paperwork at We signed the paperwork at Casalon. Which is in Toronto, Canada, and it's like this big beautiful castle. So we actually signed the paperwork there and had friends and family go to that. This Nika was more so like a close-knit family, traditional thing for your family, I think more so. Mm -hmm. It was a ceremony for us, for my family, for my side. And yeah. uh, we obviously you had to sign the paperwork and you are supposed to have it at a mosque. But we didn't want to do it that way because we wanted to sign the paperwork the day we were getting married. Yeah. Not a week before or something. But. Yeah, so we didn't want to sign it at the Nika, we wanted to sign it at Casaloma. So, we kind of had two weddings. In some ways, yeah. Well, a small wedding and then a bigger wedding. Yeah. So the Nika was more so for his family and more so like the older people from your older family. Yeah. Like aunts, uncles. And I feel like the Casaloma was more so for us, like what we yeah. wanted. Yeah, so normally you have it at a mosque and you have about a hundred people or something. But because of COVID, we had to limit the number of guests. So we had it at my house, um, my parents' house. Yeah, and your mom like really organized, she organized everything. everything. She, she was all like the, all the bells and whistles. Yeah, she was a real help. We couldn't, we definitely couldn't have done that without her. Well, I wouldn't know what to do. She set up everything. I think the only thing that I chose was my the wedding dress. And it looked good. You look really good in it. Thanks. I remember it was me, your mom, and uh, your sister that went like downtown Toronto looking for like a, the perfect green dress and I tried on so many and this one I was just like whoa like yeah this is the one she kind of looks like Persian <laughs> she with, uh, did I have self tan on or something? I don't remember but yeah. I guess it was also because your aunt did my makeup your aunt does like really good Afghan makeup Afghan mm -hmm. makeup yeah so Afghan I was makeup. like kind of wear a lot <laughs> yeah yeah, I don't think I've ever wore so much makeup, so much jewelry, and so much hairspray as the Nika. Well, you need to keep it, you know, on your head. <laughs> <laughs> what, or else my hair will fly away? <laughs> there was literally so much hairspray on my head that it felt like it was like crusty, like it was hard. That's what hairspray does when you put a lot. No, but not, they put a lot, a lot. Have you not seen Polly D's hair? Polly D? I think he puts gel and hairspray. I think he goes swimming and it's still standing up. <laughs> but literally, it took three washes, like three good shampoo scrubs, like different days mm -hmm. to get that shampoo out of my hair. And I feel like maybe that's the reason why my hair is so like sticky still. There's still like hairspray in it. It's been like a few months later. I think it's, I think it's fine. Yeah, it's been a while. It's because um, we got it like professionally edited. We actually hired somebody from Fiverr to edit that video, and it wasn't five dollars. It was much more. Fiverr, but it's not five. It starts from five. It's like Dollarama. It starts at a dollar, but then it goes up to like four or five dollars. Yeah, starting at five. They should call it starting at Fiverr. I feel like your family was very welcoming to me. They were never like forceful about when it came to religion. They never like, I mean, sure they asked me like 
would you want to convert to Muslim? Because I'm a Catholic. And so dealing with those two religions is, is not really mm -hmm. a challenge, but it can be depending on the family. But I feel like your family was very open with me. They're not strict at all. They're very open. It's whatever you want to do with your life. Yeah. The only reason they want you to convert is just so that you can come with us on events that happen on with the mosques. mosques. Yeah. That's all. Not, not for religious reasons, but just, just to come to events. I don't think your family <laughs> ever... They never made me feel bad or like forced to convert or anything like that. They were always just warm and welcome. Mm-hmm. No, they were. You're part of the family now. Yeah. It's been 10 years. She has to be part of the family by now. <laughs> We've been dating for a decade. I know. And I'm still not bored of you. I'm bored of you though. I'm kidding. Lola's been around for a year now. Her birthday's coming up. And uh, she's already part of the family. Not that. And I think my goal for next year is to learn Farsi. Nothing else to do. You can understand. Yeah, like I'm learning bits and pieces here and there just because I'm spending so much time with his family. But I feel like I really want to learn it. It's just that I use Duolingo to learn French and that has been really great this past year. Like I actually feel like I, I know French pretty well now. But there's no Farsi on Duolingo, so I don't know how I'm going to learn it. No. Is there Persian? There's Arabic and there's Hindi. Um, it's not really that close. Yeah. The next year I want to learn Farsi. I think that'd be good. Yeah. It'd be good for you to understand mm -hmm. me and the family. <laughs> so what's that ceremony when the guy like breaks that thing? Like what does that represent or what does that mean? <laughs> no? That's another question, I have no idea. <laughs> when your dad was wrapping the scarves around you? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh my god. When your sister came with the platter of henna, mm -hmm. what does the henna mean? <laughs> no okay, forget it. <laughs> My parents came to the Nika. Oh yeah, and we uh, gave them Afghani clothes. Yeah, to and they fit right in and they were dancing. <laughs> you have to learn the Afghan dance. Yeah, it was so fun. It's pretty easy, you just kind of twist your arms around and move your hips. Oh, and we practiced our first dance as a... As a... Almost married... Almost married couple. Technically Nika couple family video first dance. <laughs> What did you say? <laughs> I actually really liked our first dance. It went well. We didn't, we practiced, but we didn't practice that much. Mm -hmm. I think it went well. I feel like she we were like. Good. I feel like we were like vibing with each other. Like I would kind of sway this way, and you would kind of sway that way, and it, like it. I don't know. It just worked. And like I like how your family said that like I dance well, like I fit in. Yeah, she's she's a natural born talent. Or I'm guinea dancing. <laughs> I think um, <clears throat> I think we should roll a clip of us dancing. Just yeah. to kind of end off the, uh, the YouTube. So that we can end off this video? I don't think so. Okay. If you have any questions, you can put your comments below and <laughs> we'll do our best to answer them. Yeah, maybe we can do more like Q&A type videos of, you know, marriage and multicultural relationships. And yeah, if you guys are interested in that, we could do something like that. Yeah. It'd be kind of fun. So enjoy our first dance as a married couple at our Nika. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Say bye. Toro, say bye.